everybody welcome to PUC online classroom today we're going to continue our lesson and I already attached the answer key for your yesterday practice and so that you can check and appear all right so now let's get it started with activity number four which is about listening lucky breaks so before we do this activity let's find out what it is exactly okay about lucky breaks so lucky break is just like a turning point in your life all right something you know lucky or something you know amazing happens in your life and this makes you uh, succeed in life or successful in life all right so that is about your lucky break or it can be a turning point something that can change your life completely from the poor situation to the richest situation or from the negative situation to a positive situation let me give you an example so that you can understand what it is exactly uh, you know just like uh, you were nothing and let's say you were broke all right and at a time you were walking on the street and you found a wallet full of money and suddenly you saw that and then you pick up and the, there were there was a lot of money and with that money you can use it to make your own business all right and and after that your business keeps growing more and more and then you finally success uh, you are successful in in your own business and also your life okay so that is about turning point and that can be your lucky breaks so in this activity i want you to listen to these two people yang sifar and gwyneth paltrow so you need to listen to the two what were the people doing before they got their lucky breaks just like two of them uh, what were they doing let's say at the time before they got the lucky break and what were their lucky breaks so you have to listen and answer to the these two questions all right and then also in part b everybody you have to listen one more time how did the events change their lives i mean after the lucky break what did they do okay so you need to listen and find out about these two people okay and you i will give you the answer later don't worry about that so now let's go to number five storytelling word power so this is about vocabs and they are so important for your exam as well okay and today we're going to learn about adverbs and in ly okay so in this case you are going to probably you need to understand the meaning and find out whether they are positive negative or e means both of them or maybe one of them okay it can be neutral okay so let's begin with the first word coincidentally coincident it just like uh, you know meeting someone by chance it just an incident okay and we don't mean to see somebody okay so that is coincident and I will go to E because it can be positive and negative the reason is that when you meet someone by chance sometimes you are lucky sometimes you are not okay uh, so we cannot say it's always positive or negative okay for this one is E and I like you to do the rest of them okay if you don't know the words please use your dictionary and find out exactly what they are I know for sure that these words can be found in a dictionary all right and tomorrow I'll give you the answer for this part okay all right so I cannot go to number six but I will let you know about number seven so you also need to do by yourself once again because this is about listening okay so you just listen to part A and part B and A and part B you need to answer to the question what has happened since they last saw each other maybe they got married or what okay so you need to listen and find out okay we will check the answer later all right so let's go to grammar point which is the most important part in this session present perfect continuous i think some of you probably have heard or have learned about present perfect simples so today we're going to focus on present perfect continuous but we also have to compare between present perfect simple and present perfect continuous so before we go further let's take a look at this definition a little bit okay so we use present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present if you just take a look at this definition it seems like 
present perfect simple right it's similar to present perfect simple but of course they are not so let me show you exactly why they are different okay uh, let's go to the word right here I will hand out so this is about a comparison between the two uh, so the first difference is about a form you know that so have uh, or has and then we three but progressive or you can say present perfect continuous uh, being verb ing as you can see this example i have spoken or you can say i have been speaking so we can have uh, two different forms like this in terms of the two all right so let's go to the use right here both tenses i mean present perfect simple and present perfect continuous are used to express that an action began in the past and is still going on or has just finished so it can be going on it can be just finished all right in many cases both forms are correct so it means that you can use both of them but there is often a difference so we have a difference right here in meaning so let's take a look at this we use the present perfect simple mainly to express that an action is completely oh, sorry is completed or to emphasize the result it means sometimes we use present perfect simple to focus on the completed action in the present or you can say a finished result in the present okay so it already finished in term of uh, the completion when you talk about present perfect simple however present perfect continuous we focus on duration so it is not about completion it's incompleted action okay or you can say continuous course it's just like the action keeps going on to the present even in the future you know but we don't know exactly when so once again we focus on the result and the second is about duration okay so let's find out what i mean by saying result and duration okay let's go to this uh, more explanation do you want to express what has happened so far or how long an action has been going on yet so this define how long is about duration this define what has happened so far this is about simple perfect simple all right so let's go to the result right here so result what how much or how often okay so we use with present perfect simple and present perfect progressive but you can say present perfect continuous they are the same actually it's just a matter of name uh, we focus on duration and usually we need to use it to answer to the question of how long so anytime you answer to the question of how long then it should be present perfect continuous but whenever you are answering the question of what how much or how often then we should use present perfect simple let's take a look at these two examples right here i have written five letters I have been to London twice and if you take a look at have been sorry I have written five letters it means that you already finished five letters and this one I've been to London twice it's, it becomes your experience okay two times already uh, you have been traveling there okay to London and if you talk about duration right here I've been writing for an hour it means that now you're not finished yet and you're going to finish somewhere in the future okay so it is not about completed yet so that's why present perfect progressive focus on duration present perfect simple focus on result and we have a certain note right here everybody certain verbs the following verbs are usually only used in present perfect simple not in the pro, uh, progressive form as like present perfect progressive so we don't use this with progressive form why let me tell you okay so any verb that tell us about a state okay like be verb to be verb have of course you cannot use uh, present perfect continuous okay a full position only we have been on holiday you cannot say i have been being on holiday for two weeks it is impossible because it is state verb and any verb that are related to sense all right senses fear he smell so on so forth so you can say he has touched the painting but you cannot say he has been touching because that's related to feel okay and and when it comes to some kind of stative verb like this like sense so that you cannot use it 
Another example, which is about brain work, is something related to your brain. Okay, uh, believe, know, think, understand. Of course, when you when this refer to anything in your side of brain, then you cannot use present per perfect progressive, so that you have to use present perfect simple. Okay. So example right here, I have known him for three years. You're gonna say I have been knowing him for three years, which is impossible to use it. All right. Okay. So once again, everybody, present perfect simple is about result, a finished result in the present, and present per perfect progressive or continuous is about duration. Okay. So it is not completed yet. It keeps going on and maybe to the to the future, somewhere in the future. Okay. Alright, so that's it for the grammar and in this case, I'd like you to do exercise right here. Uh, I think uh, you just do it by following the form. That's it because it's not about comparison between present perfect simple and perfect continuous, but it's just only a single present perfect continuous. So what you need to do right here, just only to I remember the form and apply the form right here. That's it with the verb in a parenthesis. For example, the first one, what have you been doing lately? Okay, so when you see this, so let's use present perfect continuous. There's nothing more than all of this. Okay, and that's it for this lesson, everybody. And before I go, just want to tell you once again about your quiz. So today we have uh, the first unit 10 quiz. Okay. So the first unit 10 quiz. So please go to your class work because we have a quiz. Actually, the quiz that you have already done. But I just let you do once again. All right. So that's it for today. Thank you so much, everyone. Good luck for your quiz once again. Enjoy your day. Thank you.